Today's string report covers the new HB Soft milled putters from Cleveland. They have an excellent look, but at a price point much cheaper than the design might tell you. Today we've got a couple experts to help us break down these putters and show you why they might be a great fit in your bag. Hey there golfers, I'm Drew Maholder, Second Swing Golf, and welcome back to the YouTube channel where we are reviewing some new putters from Cleveland. It is the HB Soft Milled Series, and we have a special guest today. We have Eddie Dry joining us from, uh, looks like a very fancy coffee shop there. Uh, so Eddie, uh, thank you for joining us. Um, appreciate your time, and uh, I think we're really excited about these putters here at Second Swing. Uh, we are. <laughs> just so, launching. Talk to just go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so talk to me about uh, these putters, Eddie. Um, HB Soft Milled, uh, there's some unique features. I think the one that's first catching my eye here is this, this golf shaft on uh, this mallet here in my hand. So um, it looks like you got it's some graphite, some simian. Talk to me about this and how it came about at Cleveland. The HB uh, putters have uh, been around about 10 years. One of the, one of the top unit selling putters in the business, you know, one of them. Uh, they've been great for us and we've improved it because instead of a cast putter that just looks fantastic, uh, looks like it's twice the price, uh, we milled it. And if you, you know, this is not just a mill face. This is the entire putter mill. It's just go mm -hmm. down like the four and $500 putters you see that it's half price. And it feels soft. And they, we use our, our heads uh, that have been time proven. Um, and they're, you know, it's like it's launching now. And it's like a $400 putter. It looks like a $350 putter. It's $199. Okay. Uh, so you need to, and you need to look at them. We have blades for those people that arc putt, so to speak, straight back and forth. We have the mallets. Uh, and one addition is what you mentioned is the all in shaft. We have a UST shaft in there. Uh, and it's something a little different. It would, and I find that it, uh, helps me three putt less. Okay. Uh, this is, is steel right here at the bottom. Mm -hmm. The way they make this is they insert this, glue it, let it sit, and then they put the graphite. So what you have is a putter that's a little bit lighter, it's balanced, and when you stroke it, the, uh, we find that the feel comes up through your hands quicker. You actually hit it and you kind of, oh, I know how that feels, okay, that's right. good. Well, that, that helps you gauge it a 10 foot putt, a 20 foot putt, a 30 foot putt. So by the time you play four or five holes on that golf course with this putter, you, you get to where you know how far mm -hmm. you're gonna hit the ball. Um, it, sure. it, to, to prove the point, a lot of golfers, you might not notice, but competitive golfers, whether it's college tour, amateur, many times they'll walk from their ball to the hole and back. Well, everybody thinks they're looking at the grain. Sometimes they are, but they're also counting paces. And right. they know that this is a 10 pace putt. This is a 15. Well, once you know that, you just let your subconscious go. This shaft just gives you feedback. And a lot of times, uh, now you're talking about a composite shaft putter. This meal is five, six, seven hundred dollars. Uh, ours is 249. Right. And you guys can, yeah, I mean, these, you can these putters it. really do look like they are, I mean, they have that elegance kind of that is portrayed, right? Uh, and they're completely milled. They kind of have, it's almost like a part of that sole is a little bit kind of that shiny chrome. And then the rest of it does have that, that really kind of pristine feel to it uh, just by the appearance. And of course, when you go hit them on the green as well, you do have that still that soft um, feedback that you really don't traditionally get unless you get have that kind of soft insert in there but you do get that soft feel from these putters as well, which I think is kind of unique. You're on to something. It, it, you know, sometimes a putter uh, can be too soft and you get right. no feedback. It can be too hard and it jumps off mm -hmm. and, and goes too far and you just don't know how, how far to pull the stroke back and people start decelerating. So to keep a, a constant stroke or a little bit of an accelerating stroke, uh, these putters are soft, but they give really good feedback. And it's especially with the all-in chaff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. And then to reiterate again, you did mention a little bit uh, previously about having blades and mallets, but um, in terms of the, you know, the number of models that are included in this series, uh, you have, you know, options available for any type of putting stroke, I imagine. So the, the strong arc, uh, maybe there's like a little bit of, of rotation. And then of course, someone that will go, you know, close to straight back and straight through, you have models in this series that fit everybody. 
you know, you can get so detailed with hunting, but mm -hmm. a basic rule is go into the, go into your stores and, and take a look at the putters. Sometimes you like a putter and you don't know why. Um, you guys actually putter fit. Uh, mm -hmm. Your fitters are trained for it. They know what it means. They know what a slant neck is. You don't have to know all that as a, as a player, but get some help. Your guys are very good. They're very trained. And, and they know that they can see you hit three putts and know that you arc putt or you straight back and through. Uh, they can help you. And sometimes how the neck is, is, is it's how you set it up. Sometimes it, that you need right. a putter that your hands are a little more forward naturally, not not contrived, not not trying. And and you they will know that. So that's why we make so many models, quite frankly, because it, people are different. Right. Yeah, that's definitely it's a it's a kind of a, a finicky thing, right? Putting for, for a lot of golfers. Some golfers, it's all about the appearance and some golfers, it's I don't really care what the putter looks like. I just want it to perform the way I need it to. So uh, but I think that's kind of a, a good way to to almost wrap it up in a way, because that's the, the final piece of every uh, golfer and the putter they're looking for is just getting fit. Um, so in golfers can come in and get fit. They can try out these putters. They can see how this all in shaft feels for them. Uh, and you know they can try the different head shapes as well, and our fitters will dial them in. We have Quintech ball roll technology as well at our stores, so you can get extremely dialed in, and I think you'll be very impressed with these HP Soft milled putters. Uh, so, Eddie, uh, thank you for the time. I think, again, we're very excited about these putters, and I think um, you know, we'll see a lot of golfers coming into the stores or even consulting with our online fitters as well about, about these putters and putting them in the bag. So I uh, really appreciate your time. All good. Thank you, sir. All right, we are now on the putting green here at the Minnetonka Tour Van store, and I've got Taylor with me to do some testing. Uh, we've got two models, the 10.5 and the four. So we're gonna do a little bit of uh, kind of comparison there, A, on just the models themselves, but B, also we have two different shafts. So we got the all-in uh, graphite and steel shaft here in the 10.5, and then we've got the uh, standard steel shaft in the four. So um, Taylor, first, you kind of have, you have just the standard, the blade, the number mm -hmm. four steel shaft. Um, I mean, looking at it from here, it looks kind of pretty much like a traditional, you know, uh, answer style type type club head. There, do you see anything else? No, um, you know, I like I like the feel. I like the blade, kind of smaller yeah. putter head. Um, so it looks nice. It looks very sleek. There's not a ton going on right. to on the back. Just says Cleveland, not mm -hmm. a ton of extra stuff. So I like that in a putter. So it's not you know too much going right. on. It's nothing distracting or anything right. like that. Um, and right. I I do think, and I, and Eddie mentioned this too. There's there's kind of a like an elegance to the the milling that they've mm -hmm. done here where it kind of gives it a feel like it should be some expensive putter yeah it's really a pretty cheap price point things all things considered compared to the, mm -hmm. to the market so that should be attractive for a lot of the viewers but um, yeah this mill does look nice it's just very mm -hmm. sleek look on yeah. the front and there. it's supposed to give you a little bit of a softer feel than mm -hmm. traditional but i guess we'll find out here so okay. let's hit a few um we'll start with the, the number four there and then we'll see what we got Ooh. I do, it, you do, or I play a sky camera and this has a little bit softer feel off the face, okay. which I like. The, the putter head is a little bit heavier than what I play, Okay. Um, but I kind of like that in a putter. I find it a little bit easier for me personally Ooh. to hit leg putts with yeah. it. Um, so I- With the I, heavier? Yeah, for some reason, it's just, for me, yeah, it's easier I, to get through, yeah. And I think it's, there's something to that with um, just a, a feel aspect element, if you will. Yeah. Ooh. So with those, I think, I mean, there is pretty consistent on every one of those, right? Mm -hmm. um, I wonder if this putt's makeable, but I, so, and I, it's funny because I am not a person who plays blade putters. Mm -hmm. I haven't had a blade putter. I, it's, it's been since my youth, youth, like I was, <laughs> I was young, but um, I do appreciate the, like the craftsmanship on these and how right. like clean they are, mm -hmm. you know? That one might have it. Oh, Ooh. look at that. I might have to get one. <laughs> one for one. What do you notice about the weight? Do you feel, I mean, you play a mallet, so, so that's going to be heavy. I play a very different putter than this, right. but this is definitely firmer than that, but mine also has, uh, mine's the uh, the Ping Harwood. Mm -hmm. It's a has a very soft insert in there though. Right. But I feel like relative to, you know, your milled um, kind of, 
answer two style type putter. This yeah. is a little bit softer. Yeah. Yeah. So, wow, I think you're that. sold. I think I'm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get one. Um, but the fun thing now is we get to try this other shaft. Yeah. So, um, you kind of switch spots with me here. We can. Yeah. You know, do you? I mean, initially it's in your hands. You maybe take a couple practice strokes. Do you feel anything different initially, or do you kind of do you think it's gonna be primarily the golf ball um, making that kind of feel happen? So I know with graphite, just through kind of my learning through fitting everything, they are supposed to give you a little bit more feel. Yeah. Um, which is nice because you know you can feel more if it's coming up the center if you're making good yeah. contact. Um, so I'm excited to see if you can feel yeah. more. I do really like the look, honestly. Yeah. Um, just have that nice sleek yeah. black down to the club head. Yeah. So that's a nice touch on yeah. it. Also, this 10.5 has kind of some cool alignment there in the kind of in the cavity. Yeah, and it's it's a nice kind of oh. You can definitely feel it more on that yeah, one. But I can tell right away there was a reaction there. The head is a nice condensed mallet, so yeah. it's nothing too big, you know, for players who maybe like that mid size. Oh, that one might drop. Ooh. You can definitely feel a difference with yeah, the shaft. So the, the idea there um, that Eddie mentioned was mm -hmm. it's lighter towards the top and then you get heavier at the bottom which can promote some more consistency. And you've seen kind of similar type of designs out yeah. on the market. Um, I think of kind of like even like Stroke Lab, for example, or something similar that, you know, it's, you have some graphite, but then it's, you, you get the steel in there that kind of balances it a little bit. Yeah, at the bottom there. You can definitely feel kind of at your hands. It is a little bit lighter than this one that we were just putting with. Yeah, I definitely feel it. Oh yeah. Like even like, like I can, it seems like, like you doing this, you know, I kind of yeah. test it a little bit. It is definitely lighter. Ooh. Ooh. That was certainly more feedback, mm -hmm. even what I felt like was a center strike, I guess, but it was, yeah, there's just a little bit more. It's like a higher pitch noise, too. Than this one that we were just hitting. Yeah. Yeah. They both feel, though, really, really nice off the face. Yeah. And that's the thing that's, I think, nice about the, the, the series itself is that it gives options for everybody. Oh. I think that, I think the camera <laughs> caught that. It would have yeah. dropped in a normal <laughs> hole, I think. but. I think that's nice too, is it gives all golfers or all mm -hmm. putter stroke types, there's obviously a model for each stroke type, but also like all preferences. Right. If you like a firm feel, there's that. If you like a softer feel, you have that with um, the number four there or any mm -hmm. of the other kind of milled uh, designs. So I think there is options for everybody in this series, I think. Yeah, and I we talked about, about it earlier, but if you're just kind of looking at the bottom of both putters, they do have that nice, sleek, mm -hmm. nothing too much going on. Like you said, they look like they're going to be an expensive putter, right. um, but very reasonably priced. So yeah. getting that nice look for you know whatever you're looking to spend. Mm -hmm. So. All right, so testing complete, mm -hmm. Taylor. The HB Soft milled putters. Um, we have the I have the four, and you have the ten point five mm -hmm. in your hand. So. Um, first, just give me your overall thoughts on, well, testing both models, maybe just look, feel, mm -hmm. uh, the design, what do you think? Uh, I think they're both really sleek looking, you mm -hmm. know, like we kind of said in the testing, not a ton going on on the face. They've both got a nice kind of thick aiming line on there yep. for you, which is important when you're putting. Right. Um, the the milled part of them, both, mm -hmm. you know, really nice to look at. Yeah. Uh, like we had said also, they look like a little bit higher end putter. Yeah. Um, but they're more in that wheelhouse for people who aren't looking to, you know, spend a ton to upgrade, but would right. like a nice looking putter. Yeah, I think that's the a really attractive piece for a lot of players that, you know, they see some of the price points on new putters out there in the market mm -hmm. and they get really shy, which I understand totally. And so to see these down a lot lower than maybe the, some of the uh, competitors out there, I think is really inviting. Um, Talk about the look, really good clean look on the four and the 10.5 for sure. Yeah. Um, we also have to talk about that that shaft because that's a, the all in shaft, you know, graphite down and then steel towards the end. Mm -hmm. um, we definitely noticed a difference in the feel when testing. Right. Yeah. I mean, even holding it right now, I can, I mean, obviously not gonna hold your putter like this, but you can just feel how much lighter it is up by the grip. Um, and that's also evident when you're putting with it. You know, I could feel most of the weight was down here. It wasn't a ton running through the shaft. Um, really good, soft, 
nice face mm -hmm. feel. Uh, and then you could just get a better feel with this shaft than the steel. Um, yeah. If you're gonna hit, if you hit a solid putt, um, but both of them felt really, you know, nice and pure right off the face. Right, right. So last question, you know, we always ask who the putter might be for, or putters might be for. I know there is, other than these two models in particular, there's other, other models in the series. So, you know, depending on your stroke type or yeah. what kind of preference you like for a head shape, you're probably an option in this series for you. But I mean, does anything jump out at you in terms of who's it for? Or really just somebody that wants a high-end looking putter, but for a cheaper price point. Right, I think with just the different types of models, yeah. knowing your stroke type, right. knowing which putter is going to fit that stroke type. Yeah. This one also is center shafted. So, yeah. um, you know, kind of a particular market that's looking for yeah. that. They're not, you know, a huge putter used out yeah. there. Um, but I definitely think that uh, knowing your stroke type, you can find yeah. one in this series that's going to work for you. Right, exactly. I think that's the ultimate, uh, the key takeaway with any putter series really is just mm -hmm. you got to know your stroke type, know what neck type that you need that fit, best fits the rotation that you put in the putting stroke. And mm -hmm. of course, with this series, there's going to be an option for you no matter what. So uh, Taylor, thanks for joining, testing, giving your feedback. I think the you know HB Soft Milled Putters unique from Cleveland uh, in the sense, you know, all milled design, but mm -hmm. I think they're going to do really well. I think a lot of people are int intrigued by them. Yeah, they, you know, they look great. So uh, I think they, they'll succeed.